I'd sort of fallen into a little false sense of security, really, in terms of um, my sort of feel-good factor about West Ham and about the results. I think it was the, well, obviously the, the Southampton and Fulham wins and then the draw against Arsenal, which, hey, doesn't look anything special now. Everyone's drawing against Arsenal. Looks like they're bottling it, really, doesn't it? But then you've got getting through to the semi-final in a conference league. And I don't know. It's not like I thought that relegation was over and that was done and dusted. That's why I said, I think, you know, I think we need to win that conference league and survive relegation before we get into the, the conversation about David Moyes the next season and that sort of thing. Um, but I was feeling pretty good about it. However, today, it's funny how fragile that confidence is because today I've seen, I guess, two results go our way. One of them is sort of okay-ish, I guess, and then the other one hasn't gone our way. And if you'll have seen the video that I did with Gio a few days ago, it's when we sort of tried to appraise how everybody else was sort of going to deal with relegation and whatnot. Um, we spoke about Leicester. And initially, I said that my bottom three would be Southampton, Forest and Everton. And the more I spoke about it and the more I spoke about Leicester, I thought, oh, no, you know, Leicester, Leicester are going to struggle. And I, I thought Leicester probably needed three wins and a draw to stay up. Well, they got a win today. And and I've got to say, probably wasn't a bad win, really. I know it was, that was a home game. Um, they beat Wolves, beat Wolves 2-1. And it's sort of that was the result that didn't... I don't think it helped because I think Wolves are possibly on 34 points. It's going to be hard for them to drop back down into it. They're going to pick up the necessary points between now and the end of the season. So there was a suspicion that not maybe they've stopped playing, but they're not going to play with the ferocity and the intensity that Leicester did. So I... That didn't go, I didn't think that was particularly good for us. But having read some of the other comments and having popped onto our uh, our Patreon WhatsApp group, people seem to think that's not a bad set of results today. So that's what I mean. It's probably my, um, my confidence, which is fragile more than anything else. Uh, the Fulham game and the Leeds game, well, Fulham won 2-1 on that. It's quite clear. That really goes in our benefit. And I guess that shows how good our win was against them. Uh, well, hey, we did the double over them, actually. I mean, the most recent one. I was listening to that on the radio. I'm not at home, as you can probably tell. Um, I was listening to that one on the radio as well, and it's, it seemed like a pretty boring old match, really. But Leeds are caught between a rock and a hard place. I think Leeds have got to try and arrest this slide, which is them conceding loads of goals. Did they do it? I guess they did. I, I guess conceding two is an improvement on four or fives, but... That's not really going to do much for them at all. And I, and I certainly felt that like Wolves, Fulham would, would probably have, not have the same intensity as Leeds would have. I'm really surprised how, how badly they've done there. But just going back to Leicester a second, I do wonder if they, you know a little bit of the new manager bounce might be enough to, to get them over the line. They're still going to need another couple of wins and a draw. Um, and that, that definitely was one of their winnable games today. I, I do not want to be going... So that last game of the season, though, um, which is obviously West Ham, we're going, we're going to Leicester. Um, you know, we need to get it wrapped up before that. And realistically, our game against Bournemouth is so incredibly important now. There's just, um, it, it's, it's not do or die. It, it really isn't. We can lose that game. We're still not in the bottom three. But I, I'd just like to get it wrapped up. I'd just like to get it done and dusted. And it's, it's become even more important now. So as I understand it, if we beat Bournemouth, we go... 13th. Is that us out of it? No. But if we beat Bournemouth, we probably only need two more draws. This is, I tell you what, if nothing else, it's made the end of the season interesting. But hey, look, it was interesting anyway. It was last, last season was interesting to see whether we get 6th or 7th. The season before was interesting to see if we get 4th, 5th or 6th. It's just, it's interesting uh, for negative reasons now. Everton got a point. Everton got a point against Palace. Didn't see the game, couldn't tell you anything about it. As I understand, uh, Everton got a red card. I, I don't know anything more about it than that. Ideally, we'd have liked Palace to have beaten Everton. It's a good... I mean, it's still a really good result for Palace, isn't it? Um, you know, he still carries on. I think possibly he's unbeaten since Hodgson went in there. Is it a good result for Everton? I don't know. At this point in the season, you probably want to be getting more than a point. And even though Palace have been in decent nick since Hodgson went in there, when Everton are looking at their remaining games this season, they're probably thinking Palace might be one of the ones where they might get three points from. So don't get me wrong. I would much rather um, be in our position than Everton's. And I'm still sort of undecided whether the whole Sean Dyche thing has worked. I think what is clear is Sean Dyche probably a better 
uh, option for them than Frank Lampard. I think, you know, bearing everything, every, all things being considered. I wonder if this is his last job. I wonder if this is Lampard's last job. Um, anyway, I, I do wonder that. It's very hard to make the case for him really getting another managerial position, isn't it? Anyway, not our business. What do we care? Not an awful lot. Of course, the other one was far more closely fought than, than we ever needed it to be. It was far more squeaky bum. And that was Liverpool beat Nottingham Forest 3-2. And that's at Anfield. And I think when you're looking at it, and this is why it's made me nervous, has, has that result gone for us? Yes, it has. They got no points. Forest got no points. That's, that's a really, really good thing. But the two goals, if nothing else, indicates that they've got a bit of fighting spirit there. Indicates that they've just not given up yet. And that's, um, yeah, that, that sort of... Uh, Worries me less. I do think Forrest are down, but I you almost you, you almost want to see these teams dead and buried and, and finished at the bottom there. So anyway, there, there you go. That's just my little roundup of, of things that have happened today. It's um I, I should perhaps be more positive. The Forest game was good. I guess the Everton result was was fair, was decent, kept down there. Obviously the certainly Leeds losing at Fulham was good. It's only really the, the Leicester one, really. Um I don't know. Be interested. No, interested. Well, I'll tell you what. You, you better let me know what you think, because I'll be, I'll be, I won't have anything to do for the next hour. So I'll be reading your comments. Very, very interested indeed uh, to read those. Um, big game. Big game against Bournemouth. Not going to be easy. I've got to say. Um, the, the stadium, the Vitality Stadium. That's what it's called now, isn't it? Um, it is going to be bouncing. It really is. Uh, they've got a lot to cheer. They've had a really good season. I've said an awful lot of nice things about Bournemouth recently, but. Um, that all being said, I do think it's uh, it's not the easiest place in the world to go. Uh, I do think stages will be bouncing. I do think they have a, a fast team. I do think they're they're probably better than the sum of their parts, and I do think they're being really well led, really well managed uh, under Gary O'Neill. So it's it's going to be it's going to be a tough one. I think David David Moyes is going to go strong. It's just really how much our fatigue levels are going to be affected by. Well, what we've just seen, basically, against um, against Ghent. Uh, a lot of emotional energy expended, a lot of energy expended. Um, yeah, I, I really, really can't see that he's going to change an awful lot of things. And nor should he. I think he probably needs to go for this. That being said, and here's the really interesting thing here. The more you look at it, Everton... Uh, sorry, um, Liverpool are... It's not like Liverpool are there for the taking. That's our, that's our midweek game, right? And obviously they've got an additional games rest as well, and they, they don't, Liverpool don't have to worry about European football like West Ham, of course. Um, I don't, I don't know. I know David Moyes probably won't go there and, and overly try and beat them, and I'm not saying they're there for the taking, but they are a bit of a wounded animal. Um, anyway, big game against Bournemouth. Follow it up hopefully with a, with a sneaky cheeky little point against Liverpool. Um, all is well. But now after those results, uh, Forest, Everton. Leicester and, of course, Leeds. Maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe the results went for us. Um, but I'm a little bit more nervous about the Bournemouth game now.